Okay, welcome back to another edition of the Contrite Army. First and foremost, if it's your first time here, hi. I teach the gospel, clear up beliefs of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And try to bridge that gap. Between Latter-day Saints and traditional uh, Christianity. Go ahead and give me a like, follow, subscribe. But today, have you ever thought about? Why? And I'm talking specific, uh, specifically to traditional Christians who are part of traditional Christianity. Like non-denominational Baptists, Calvinists, everybody. Have you, have you ever wondered why when you try to get somebody who's from my church, the Latter-day Saint Church, into a debate that they won't do it, that they'll back out. Well, let me tell you why. For several reasons, really. Because all throughout the scriptures, we are taught both traditional Christianity and LDS that we are to put ourselves into situations where we would feel God's Spirit the most. And we strive to do that all the time. And whenever a situation comes up where the Spirit of God detracts or goes away or is not even present, we will not participate, we will not talk, we will avoid the situation altogether if we can. Because it is our desire to have God's Spirit with us always. Now let's go into this further. Like say, like today, all throughout the day, I've been Debating somebody on one of the videos on the Hello Saints thread. Just plain wasn't going anywhere. I'll explain my side and ask him respectfully what, he, what his beliefs were. Really wasn't saying anything. Just really wasn't going anywhere. So I just said, have a good day if you're willing to, to learn more and understand my beliefs. I'm willing to continue, but if not, have a good day. It was nice chatting with you. But that inspired me. You see, when it comes to debates about faith and doctrine, here's the one point where every single Latter-day Saint will either back out or not even go into. Okay? It, 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 it's the fact that we can tell when you're wanting to proselyte to us and get us to come back to, tra back to traditional Christianity. 
because most of us left. Actually, a big part of the church are converts to the church. We can spot that. Most of us are so firm in our faith that we feel very strongly that if we were to do that, we would be walking away and denying the covenants that we have made. So we just won't do it. Now, church leadership has taught us to strive to understand our, our difference of beliefs. That's why there's channels on YouTube like mine. Another one by the name of David Alexander. Many other Latter-day Saint channels on on, you, on this app and on TikTok where we're striving to explain our beliefs to follow the commission that Christ gave every one of us which was to spread and build his kingdom but that can only happen when we have a good understanding of each other's beliefs. Okay. But when we seek to not, or when we just plain refuse to not understand the beliefs of us, our individual beliefs, our in individual interpretations of the gospel. That is when and only when. That conversation is done. That debate is done. It's because the ears have been shut off. As I like to say to my kids. And no understanding it's going to take place. It's just a plain old fashioned argument at that point. So. What I do when I get into those situations. As I just like. I back out cordially and say. Have a nice day. It was nice chatting with you. Leave an open. Invitation to. Understand more. Aside from that, I leave it at that and let God do the work. That's what we do. Now, here's a few tips. If you want to truly explain your side to Latter-day Saints... And have a have an effectual have have an effective conversation. I'll say that. Two. One. Strive to be a, to be friendly. To be a friend. To be real. To be true in your beliefs. that's how the Savior taught the gospel when he was on the earth number two don't seek to proselyte don't seek to in, manip in manipulative ways to bash our faith to show us how our our faith is wrong and not right. Because so I'll shut down the conversation immediately. Number three. 
do it out of love. John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. Specifically teach. Love one another. And this is Jesus talking. As I have loved you. By this shall all men know. That ye are my disciples. I'm going to add a fifth, a fifth one. Be open to learn. Now, I've been studying the gospel in-depthly for over 20-some-odd years. And I'm not perfect by by no means, but there's a lot of people out there on the LDS side that are way more knowledgeable than me when it comes to either strictly the Bible or strictly the Book of Mormon or both. So be open and will be willing to learn. Because as I've said to other people, especially on the TikTok app, God will use anybody to teach you how to be better in your own walk with him. So, hope that clears that up. Hope that helps each and every person who's, a, who's part of traditional Christianity. Talk to LDS people more effectively. And with me, those who follow this channel, you can ask just about anything. And I won't, you're not going to offend me. I may do a video on my background. I may already have, but I don't know yet. But just f feel free to drop in the comments. I may do a video on your comment. But just go ahead and drop your comment question down in the comments and I will do my best to answer. That's just me though. But I hope this video helps. Again, like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon.